still just building this bear flag. It still looks pretty average. There's diminishing volume. We're not really getting any decent bullish moves or anything off these off the um, off the lower line of uh, lower um, support of this bear flag. Uh, we're still just sort of fiddling around and not really doing much. So I'm still still expecting a drop. Um, to be honest, I've already loaded some shorts. I'm I'm in a short now. Um, very small profit, but I've I've got my buyers laddered in. I just wanted to make sure I was in just in case it does fall through and we don't see a repeat of, of this sort of move. Uh, but to, to understand how I've um, traded this, I've actually got my buys all the way in this channel here. So if you sort of, oh, to give you an idea, I've got buys laddered from here all the way up. And then I've got buys inside this supply zone in case we do get a pump up here. My liquidation price is way up here. And my stop loss is just above supply, just in case we do pop up a little bit too high and, and start creating some crazy moves. Um, I am still a little bit weary of, you know, manipulation. You know, if people are looking, if, sorry, if bankers are looking at this sort of level of, of where people may have stop losses, they may even shoot for a higher target. Uh, it's just going to be something I'm going to have to bear with. You know, if shit happens. There's a lot of manipulation in this game and there's not really much you can do about it apart from prepare yourself. But I'm not prepared to run, you know, a, a stop, a stop, um, a stop loss up here somewhere. I'm not going to take a 60, 70% hit and still get not knocked out. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll cop 20%. And, and if it does pop up here, I'll probably jump back in up here and, and only have a better entry. That's if, you know, if things still look bearish. Generally after a big pump anyway, that you're going to have a retracement. I just see every time there's a big green candle, you, you're going to have a retracement, big green candle, retracement, big green candle, retracement. You know, you don't, well, in a bear market, you don't get a big green candle followed by five other big green candles. So I'm you know, quite happy to take a hit here and make sure that there's, there's a, an opportunity to buy it back at the or as close to the top as I can to write it down in a better position anyway and um, get my profit there. So yeah, still pretty bearish on Bitcoin. It still looks average. Chuck it on the daily now and have a look at some candles. Probably a bit hard to see with all the business going on that I've got drawn here. Um, yeah, just a lot of indecision, indecisive candles. So small, small bodies, big wicks, no real price direction. So this is just showing a level of indecision or um, yeah, consolidation. Market makers taking orders. Either way, it, there's no real bullish signs. It's to, in, in my opinion, it's it's bearish, bearish sign. So that's me on Bitcoin at the moment, and still looking for that that low area here for some good buys.